What is going on everybody? It is me, your boy Perucha. We are back with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. Today's Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. We're going to be tackling down General Rildo, dude. This guy actually... I think he clapped me once or twice when I was trying to like freaking clap his cheeks, but dude. Um, it was more so due to the fact that I didn't want to transform when I think... I think this dude has an SCR face if I'm correct. Actually, let me look at it because I think... Wait, what the hell? Okay, no, no, I, I'm pretty sure he has three phases, I'm not correct. Okay, uh, wait, hold on. Let me, let me get my freaking stuff out of here, like, in working order, because you know how I be, dude. I be, like, all over the place. But guys, you know what's not over the place? What's not all over the place is asking you guys, how are you guys' day going? How's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody's doing all freaking K, dude. Uh, but yeah. Uh, oh, I'm like, wait, what was I gonna do freaking talk about, um, <laughs> uh, General Rildo stuff, even though I went to the wrong freaking website. Dude, actually, as the, as the recording of this, freaking the worldwide celebration has started. Well, not started, the countdown has like, Dude, we took 101,000 damage. And that was from the friend unit, too. I think that friend unit was also, um, Rainbow, no? Am I correct on that, guys? Dude, I find it funny when you look up, uh, what's I'm gonna call it? Uh, <laughs> when you look up, uh, this thing, Red Zone, like, uh, well, when you try to look up something in the wiki, the most trended thing right now is the Red Zone. Dude, people definitely. They try to get as much help as they can for freaking what's I'm gonna call it to to see what they could do to beat, uh, defeat Red Zone, right? But yeah, this guy has three phases. So it's uh this guy, uh this Rildo, and then it's like Rildo when he gets I think it's like um kind of similar to Super Android 13 in a way, but not really. I, I, at least I'm thinking so, right, guys? Because I, I thought he gets like the some of the robot's body parts and then like it fuses with him, no? And then after that he transforms to you know he's his like fully I guess I don't even know if it's a completed form or something. Actually, let me if I all go over here. Or, if I go over here, it's called Metal, metal Rail, though, Jesus Christ. But this is also called, oh, it's Hyper Metal Rail. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. I, I really gotta watch, rewatch my freaking uh, favorite franchise again, dude. But it's just so much stuff, dude. And that guy freaking really dodged, dude. That, what, what also worries me, too, is the fact that we're still, like, in phase one. Like, one thing's for sure. I mean, if you try to defeat these this guy as soon as possible, it might be a little problem because uh, one thing's for sure is you definitely want to keep on stacking with the freaking anniversary units because you know more stacking is better. Oh, actually, this guy is tech. Huh, I could have sworn he had an STR phase when I was getting clapped by um, this dude uh, for the anniversary units. Oh, all I know is this Goku probably could have, for all we know, brought me down to, uh, you know, to like near death. And I activated a Whis here. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I mean, probably, yeah, I probably could have not survived because I did only have five orbs. If I had, like, a good ten orbs or something, like that, I maybe probably could have taken those things double dip, dude. I mean, it's not bad for a Gogeta that has a super, yeah, 100k damage, but, dude, I wish we could take uh, much, much less. But, yeah, I don't think it's going to be the case here because of the fact that, well, I, dude, surprisingly, I think he lowered our defense, too, no? Um, even says even says right here in um, the wiki that, yeah, boss lowers defense by 40% for three turns after by super attacks. Dude, that's freaking crazy, dude. And then, oh... I know I got clapped by it. During the last stage, this guy locked one of my rotations. I don't know what specific rotation it was, but dude, that was freaking annoying. I'll, I'll tell you guys that for sure. <laughs> uh, also, one more thing too. I know I've been releasing um, GT. Uh, this is my third uh, Red Zone GT boss. Uh, what's I'm gonna call it? Uh, oh my God, GT boss. Uh, GT Red Zone. There you go. Oh my lord. But yeah, this is my third one. Uh, best believe after this, I'm gonna do the next three are gonna be the movie edition. So it's the first three. If I am, if it's, uh, if I remember correctly, it's here. Turles, Red Slug, and freaking Kura, which Kura is one of the, uh, is the main villain for the freaking Worldwide Celebration, which I'm still super hyped to find out what, uh, like, what their animation is going to be, assuming they haven't released it yet, or how their kid's going to look like, right? But yeah, so far, um, we're not looking too bad. I'm surprised we're only taking double digits, uh, or triple digits, whatever. Like, not as much damage as usual with these guys up front, because I, I thought we needed to super, like, a couple more times before we get to that point. But I, I don't know. I guess it's because of the trauma, uh, traumatization of what um, freaking Broly has on me, dude. Because, dude, once you defeat the first phase, you need a super, like, again. Or you need to have, like, another rotation of these guys on deck so you could be able to uh, tank double damage. Well, assuming, obviously, he doesn't super, right? Because once that guy supers, you're taking, like, 500k or something. Dude, it's just, it's just madness. Dude. It's just freaking. And what sucks, too, is the fact that um, you can't even dodge um, the red zone. But, anyways, dude, I'm not talking about Broly, dude. We're talking about General Rodo. Yeah, um,. Nothing too crazy, to be honest. I think it just took a, a while. I, I'm still surprised that this guy uh, clapped my cheeks twice, dude. But thankfully, or actually, no, I think it took three tries. And then I'm like, you're, or, we well, actually, no, 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 no. No, there was only one boss that, aside from Omega Shenron and freaking Broly, that did that. Which you guys, uh, you'll find out eventually. 
But, huh, interesting choice that I put freaking Gogeta. I mean, I guess to get the the super attack effect, because uh, if you guys remember correctly, uh, GT Gogeta, I think he gets... I think, oh my lord, he gets, what's I'm gonna call it, 25% attack and defense for per super attack, and he could go up to, like, two times, so... Let me bring this up here uh, real quick. How are you guys on Red Zone Progress going? I know, like, it's past anniversary, and you guys probably have all of them done. But for me, um, you know, I had to record all this stuff, and then plus I play other games, so, yeah. Um, but I just, you, you just never know, because there's my, you know, one of my boys, Charles, that we're just, he's still missing the last, uh, he's still missing quite the amount of freaking Red Zone stages, but hey, he's slowly but surely getting through it, because he, as he is as I am, I don't even know if that makes sense, but he has, he is busy as I could be, too. But, yeah, our, okay, so reading this guy's easy, I activate another Weez, dude. Why did I... I probably could have survived, even if, um... The middle part of the freaking, what's gonna call it, the, the Goku Vegeta gets supered? Dude, I'm pretty sure I could have survived. Uh, anyways, but yeah, going over through this guy, uh, freaking Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Tech Gogeta, Easy A. Uh, so, reading his passive skill, I was gonna, I was, I'm like trying to look for that part, but... Let's just read the whole thing. So, and extreme class enemies, uh, attack and defense minus 20%. Oh, we're getting super there. I think we should be taking like only 100k. Okay. So, if we didn't have the Weez active, we probably wouldn't have been taking around 200k or something like that. Anyways, continuing on. Extreme class enemies, attack and defense uh, minus 20%, attack and defense plus 150%, high chance of attacks being effective against all types, which uh, does it actually. I think it does, right? Because it's. Yeah, oh, no, never mind. This guy's tech. So, uh, somewhat matters, I guess. Uh, at least it's not type disadvantage, right? But yeah, continuing on, um, dude, that, and then plus an additional attack and defense plus 25%, up to 50% for 5 turns with each super attack, which is the re main reason why I perform a super attack with him, and then great chance of evading enemies, super attack, and countering with tremendous power. Awesome. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that's that. Uh, uh, probably could have bring the in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to maybe help me clap this guy even quicker maybe I i'm not sure but i i mainly bring this guy because he's easy aid and the fact that he's rainbowed while my in super saiyan for gogeta at that time even though i didn't put the dupe that we got from the raddit summons into him he's only at 69 percent so um 100 percent way better at least in my opinion dude but ooh, that dodge uh, the dodge <laughs> jesus christ dude that dodge came in freaking um not clutch but more so like you know it helps all uh, with each little dodge i, I did it still blows my mind that the, uh, those two duos have freaking a medium chance to dodge it. I thought it was like only for a couple of, tur couple of turns after like they, they first appear or whatnot, right? But interesting, I love it. It's, it's, it's not, dude. It's really not. I don't know why I didn't fuse with uh, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta here. With, well, you know, the freaking Super Saiyan 4s. Because I probably... I, I don't know how his health was looking like during the beginning of this fight, but we could have probably uh, clapped them during here. Um, if we, we fuse with them and then activate their active skill, if he was below 50% health, right? Because I'm not sure if we're, we're below 50% health. I think we're still pretty darn good, right? Oh, we're getting... So okay, so I think if we did not activate a Weez there, we probably would have taken, like, at least 400k or something like that. Or 300k, who knows? Oh, look at that, dude. And we're fusing to freaking Super Saiyan, um, or Super Vegeta, dude. One of the GOATs in the freaking game, even especially after he's easy 8 dude. So, uh, yeah, definitely. I, I think I put him in front. I'm like, dude, I don't want to activate freaking Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta because it's going to take, like, quite a while. Or, or never mind. I guess I am. I, I'm just going to activate it. And then so I can freaking, what's up I call it, dude? <laughs> so I can just use Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's um, active skill to clap this guy's cheeks, which I don't, I, like, I, I should have just let it roll, I guess. I was scared that this guy was going to super or something, Super Saiyan uh, Vegito. So I'm like, nah, 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 I'm not, I'm not trying to play these games, man. I'm just trying to freaking finish the fight and whatnot, dude. But yeah, uh, I don't know what else to say to be honest during this, uh, uh this run. Uh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, yep, as just as I predicted, dude. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. Um, could the, these first three stages of GT is pretty easy if you got like the Super Saiyan Four duos or even the gods uh, per se, to be honest. As long as you know you you have your items, which you know even though you're only allowed two. You use them uh, properly, uh, precisely not uh, during the first turn of the fight, right? You definitely want to save those during, like, later down the fight, which I'm still... <laughs> it's I don't know if, it, if that's one of the flaws during my runs for Broly, dude, but, dude, it's just... It's not it, dude. I, I'm just getting clapped up in that freaking... That, uh, that red zone stage. But anyways, dude, yeah, that's going to be nice. <laughs> I just realized that friend's name is freaking Baldku. But, yeah, that's going to be nice. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out, guys.